An example, the truss is given. It is necessary to determine the stresses in truss members. The truss is a space frame. Let's model it plain. Left support has fixed pin. It is a fixed support. Here we have only a pin. Right support has a roller. The support is a massive detail performed from good steel. It is located between the truss beam and base plate. Consider acting vertical load on the truss in the middle of span. Such load could appear from the passing train. We're taking away the constraints, supports, and we're replacing the action of constraints in accordance with axiom of constraints with reactions YA, XA, and YB. We're writing down the truss equilibrium equation, the sum of all forces projections on the X axis is XA equals zero. The sum of moments about the point A is negative P multiplied by 4A. We're drawing a line of action of a force. We're dropping a perpendicular on it from the fixed point. Perpendicular length is equal to the moment arm. We're taking the moment with negative sign. Positive YB multiple by 8A. We're drawing a line of action of a force. We're dropping a perpendicular on it from the fixed point. Perpendicular length is equal to the moment arm. We're taking the moment with positive sign. Is equal to zero. The sum of all forces projections on the y-axis is equal to y-a minus p plus y-b equals zero. We're solving the system of equations and find x-a equals zero Ya equals Yb equals P divided by 2. It was to be expected. Symmetrically applied vertical load has been allocated equally on the supports. The truss consists of 8 panels. Let's determine the stresses in members in the 6th panel. We're carrying out the cross section, which is crossing the members with the desired stresses. The Ritter's cross section could cut the truss in two and cross three members, neither more nor less. Any from received parts should contain at least one member. We're considering the equilibrium of any from remaining parts. It is desirable to take the part with lesser number of forces. We're choosing the right part. We're replacing the action of cut members with their stresses. We're directing the stresses towards cross-section. In general, the stresses could be directed by a member on all sides, but if we use the offered direction, then on the sign of stress we could determine if the member is being compressed or tensioned. It is important for the stability calculation it is studied in a course of strength of materials and structural mechanics. The compressed members 
could collapse and the tension ones could break. In this case, the compressed members have negative stresses and the tension ones positive stresses. We're finding the reader's points. There too, we're drawing lines of actions of stresses of the truss members. In the place where they are crossing are the desired reader's points. We have two such points. R1. The index 1 indicates the number of stress which line of action does not pass through the reader's point R1. R3. The index 3 indicates the number of stress which line of action does not pass through the reader's points R3. Reader's points location does not depend on the considered part. We are formulating the equations of the moments about the reader's points. The sum of moments about the reader's point R1 equals S1 multiplied by H. We are drawing a line of action of force. We are dropping a perpendicular on it from the fixed point. Perpendicular length is equal to the moment arm. We are taking the moment with positive sign. Positive YB multiple by 2A. We are drawing a line of action of a force. We are dropping a perpendicular on it from the fixed point. Perpendicular length is equal to the moment arm. We are taking the moment with positive sign. Is equal to zero. The sum of moments about the reader's point R3 equals negative S3 multiple by H. We are drawing a line of action of force. We are dropping a perpendicular on it from the fixed point. The force in theoretical mechanics is a sliding vector. For obviousness of the moment calculation, we are transferring the force vector and calculating the moment arm. Perpendicular length is equal to the moment arm. We are taking the moment with negative sign. We are returning the force to its place. Positive YB multiple by 3A. We are drawing a line of action of force. We are dropping a perpendicular on it from the fixed point. The force, in theoretical mechanics, is a sliding vector. For obviousness of the moment calculation, we are transferring the force vector and calculating the moment arm. Perpendicular length is equal to the moment arm. We are taking the moment with positive sign. We are returning the force to its place is equal to zero. It is significant that one enter into the equation of stress one by one, thus likely error in one stress does not affect on the other ones. We are solving the system of equations and find S1 equals negative YB multiple by 2A divided by H equals negative P multiple by A divided by H. S3 equals YB multiple by 3A divided by H equals 3P multiple by A divided by 2H. The first member is being compressed, the third one tensioned. The stress in member 2 should be determined from the equation of projections on vertical axis. For this member, the reader's point is absent as members 2 and 3 are parallel. The sum of all forces projections on the y-axis is S2 multiple by sinus alpha. We're taking the projection of force positive as the force and an axis 
are directed on one side. Positive YB We're taking the projection of force positive as the force and an axis are directed on one side. Is equal to zero. We're solving the equation and find S2 equals negative YB divided by sinus alpha equals negative P divided by 2 sinus alpha. Obviously, the member is compressed as the stress S2 is less than zero. We're tabulating the result of the calculations. The solution could be checked graphically by diagram of forces, Maxwell-Cremona diagram.